Rahul, where are we going next? Let's head to Telangana. Remember, in Karnataka, the Congress had a state government. They thought they'd get double digits. Our poll seems to suggest nothing of the sort is happening in Telangana. Rivan Reddy told us, I'll be one up on the BJP. Make no mistake about that. They will not be able to gain. Let's take you through what the India Today Access My India poll is saying for Telangana. The poll suggests that the Congress's vote share would be at 39%, the BJP at 43, emerging as the single largest party in terms of vote. The BRS's vote share is crashing to 13 in a national election, in any case, getting edged out. So an existential crisis for KC, uh, KCR and his party, the BRS. Ever since they changed their name, things seem to be going wrong for KCR and KTR in Telangana. Let's see how this converts into seats. Can the Congress be one up? Well, our poll suggests they'd struggle to be about half of the BJP in Telangana. Out of the 17 seats, the BJP expected to back between 11 and 12. The Congress between 4 and 6, the AIMIM, using 0 to 1. Are you saying Asuddha and Ovesi could lose as well? Because Ovesi sir could well be watching. He'll be a K. Gupta ji, kya bol rahe? Nay, a fight achi hai aur you know that Hyderabad mein survey bhi thoda sa mushkil hota hai. Aur fight bhi is baar zabardast hai kyunki is baar Congress bhi hai, BRS bhi hai, BJP bhi hai aur Ovesi ki party to hai. To bolne ka matlab yeh hua ki jo vote ka jo margin hai, wo bhoot kam hoga and that is the precisely reason. I'm not saying... This is history. You know, if the BJP is able to get between 11 and 12, a gain of seven seats, the next assembly election will be BJP versus an incumbent Congress, and that changes things uh, for the BJP but in Telangana. So this is what the outcome should have been, even for the assembly, had BJP not messed up the state of affairs in Telangana. They had a small window, but then Congress, uh, you know, just ran with it in the last two, three months. The but this is... This shows the unraveling of uh, Re uh, Revan Reddy's uh, entire plan. Yes, he, Sudhir he comes from Hyderabad, understands Telangana politics better than anyone else. 11 to 12, is this what you were expecting or is this a surprise for you? You spoke about a tsunami in Bengal. I would say in landlocked Telangana, this is a tsunami. If BJP is going to go to 43%, coming at the expense of the BRS, the BRS got yeah. about 38 odd percent in the assembly election. From 38 to fall to 13%, and much of that vote is going to the BJP's kitty. So that's going to hugely impact the BJP's fortunes if, this, and, uh, if these numbers hold. And, and what we've seen, Rahul, in the past, when regional parties collapse, the BJP takes a large benefit out of the collapse of a regional party which for a long time occupied that space of being the party of that state. We saw it with the AGP. We are seeing it now here playing out with the BRS. The moment the BRS has collapsed, the BJP disproportionately has benefited from it. I mean, these numbers are staggering, considering that you've just won an election four months ago. I think the Modi factor again. We like to quantify the BRS vote share down 28%, the BJP's vote share up 24%. That is so, massive. So basically, six out of seven, in a strange way you could say, six out of seven voters who deserted the BRS have turned to the BJP. My point though is, if the Congress can't arrest its, land, its decline in a state like Telangana, which you've just won five months ago, Raven, then there is a huge problem. And Raven Reddy called this election as a referendum on his 100 days in power. That's right. So, you know, you've got Mamta Banerjee on notice. You've got a Raven Reddy now, uh, you know, who, who, who said you've got a Siddharamaya on notice. So, a lot of chief ministers, you've got the Himachal government, which could collapse yeah. next month. Pindra, his government won't collapse, but he will have it very but, difficult yeah, in 2026. So, so it's a, you know, it's a very joins us, one of the richest, second, I mean, if you're a data guy, the second richest candidate in the fray in this Lok Sabha candidate. He's from Shevala, very close to Hyderabad, contesting this time on a BJP ticket. Mr. Reddy, it seems the BJP is scripting history, 11 to 12 seats out of 17. Uh, and, and you might be anxious, Pradeep, can you tell us, Shivala, is he ahead or not? He'd be very yeah, concerned about that. He, he's, he's, he's winning. He's so our poll to seems ahead. to suggest that you're in a good position, as I'm sure you'd know in your constituency. What are you <laughs> making of the numbers well. from Telangana? Konda Reddy, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear. Okay, sir, our poll seems to be suggesting A, you're ahead on your seat, B, the BJP could be between 11 and 12 across the state of Telangana, a 28% increase in vote share. It seems the Modi magic and the BJP magic running very strong in the state of Telangana, which the Congress won in the recent assembly election. 
Yeah, but Rajdeep, uh, it's not at all surprising. It may look shocking to anybody outside Telangana, but for us it's not at all you know, something to be surprised or shocked. Because you have to understand the Telangana politics for the last four or five years. The biggest chunk of the vote in Telangana is the anti-incumbency then. That is anti-KCR and family vote. And when they had come to, uh, rallied behind BJP, we won all by-elections. And Congress lost their deposits. And once we were tarnished with this false propaganda that we had a secret understanding with uh, TRS or BRS, then all that anti-incumbency went to Congress. So whatever vote share you saw in the assembly elections where Congress won and uh, formed the government, they are not all Congress votes. In fact, Congress vote share was less than 20%. All the other vote share, which is more than 20% or in many places, was actually anti-incumbency. So whichever side the anti-KCR votes went, they won. This time, definitely multiple factors other than Modi ji and uh, the 5 kg free rise and uh, the Ram Mandir, it is also the Kavita arrest that played a big role in our losses in the assembly, which I think now they are re reversed. So we are not shocked because the anti-KCR vote share came to us from Congress, plus, as uh, Gutta ji and, uh, mentioned, the BRS vote share also, BRS rapid decline was again to us. So these two factors, we not only got the TRS votes or the BRS votes, we also got the chunk of the anti-incumbency which in the past election your, your went point to is well taken, sir. Us. So we your are not shocked well, at all. Your, your to, point is well taken and I think yeah. if these numbers hold, it is a huge yeah. breakthrough for you after Karnataka. You. This could be your next big state which you've been aiming for for a while but you clearly now have a huge platform. Thanks very much for joining us. We are also joined by our first, well, second Congress guest. Pawan Kheda is joining us, the Congress's uh, media in charge. Uh, appreciate your joining us, uh, Mr. Kheda. Uh, the news is not good. And 24 hours ago, you weren't even you. going to come on our channels. It's good to have you on the show. You've changed your mind. Is this the depressing news that you didn't want to face 24 hours ago? I won't call it news, Rajdeep. I'll call it news uh, on the 4th, and this will change on the 4th, I can tell you that. And I'm reminded of 2004, all the pollsters uh, gave a decisive edge to Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee's NDA. And even we took it very seriously, and uh, most of us uh, went into a depression. But when the actual results came, we were quite surprised. Uh, I think this is a rerun of the same story. You know, but the fact is that there's a common thread which is coming. Straight contest, BJP Congress, BJP leading states like Telangana, uh, even Karnataka, uh, not just the north and western part of the country. If these numbers hold, and you're right, it's an if, will there be serious introspection this time? Will there be serious changes in the way the Congress approaches the entire task of elections? Rajdeep, uh... We know that these numbers are not right. We know that we are winning. We know that we are forming the government. Having said that, even then we should introspect. Everybody who wins should also, in fact, should introspect more than the person who loses. So obviously, changes must be made and introspection should be done by the winner. And we are the winners here. Okay. <laughs> we'll have you back, uh, Pavan Bhai, on the 4th of June. Then, uh, you know, this poll, whether it's news or not, will Definitely, be known to everyone. Forward. We look forward to having you back. In any case, it's great to have you because boycott Thank is you. never a good thing. So it's good that the Congress and the opposition Thank decided you. to engage. Boycotts are best avoided.